Hey, what's up guys? We're back at it again. Naeem here from Bass Brothers Fishing DMV. Gotten a lot of questions about boat trailing the Pelican Bass Raider or going car top. I recently did a video about how to load this boat car top so you don't need a trailer to do it, but a trailer is an option that I go with the majority of the time because that just works for me best. I'll leave a link at the top of the screen for the car top load video. It shows you exactly how to load the boat on top of your car with minimal effort by yourself. So be sure to check that video out up top. So this is just a quick video to show you what boat trailer I have, how it works for me and what I've done to it. All right, here we go. What we have here is a Ultra Toe 4x8 foldable all aluminum trailer. First, I wanna go over how do I secure this boat to the trailer. Again, with this boat being very lightweight, it doesn't take a lot. So I have two straps right here. You can see one, I just basically connect to the trailer, actually install this hook right here, goes through the seat, straight to the other side, onto the other hook I installed right over here. So that's one. This keeps the main part of the boat still, as well as uh, keeps the seat from flying off the boat while you're driving. Um, there wasn't a place to put a hook on this side, so I basically just took a bungee cord, connected it to the base right here. Again, stuck it through the seat and onto the other side, same thing. So that helps to keep this seat in place while I'm driving down the road. And then lastly, this is probably the best one. Again, same process, connect the ratchet strap to the hooks I installed underneath. Hopefully you guys can see that. Put it actually through the uh, handle here, through the other side, and connect to the other hook I got right there. So it's pretty easy to tie this boat down and it does not move an inch. So now let's get into the actual trailer itself in three, two, one. Whoa. All right, let's get into it, guys. First of all, I bought this from Northern Tools, so I ordered it online. Pretty good website, a lot of information on there. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out yourself. When you get the trailer, it comes in three boxes. You do have to put this together yourself. And don't worry, guys, this overview will be completely unbiased. I'm gonna give you the pros and cons, things I like and things I definitely don't like about this trailer in case you're considering getting a trailer for your Pelican Bass Raider. So what I did, I did some quick and simple mods that made a lot of sense. A must have mod that I did for this boat was creating a deck for it. And I did this with plywood, as you can see. I believe this is half inch plywood. The deck is eight feet long. So I basically went right down the middle and did two four foot pieces. Treated it twice to make sure it's completely sealed and secured it down into the actual frame of the trailer with bolts. A very important key thing to keep in mind when you're doing a deck for any folding trailer is to leave enough clearance right down the center line so when you fold the boat, the wood doesn't restrict the trailer from folding. So I think I have about quarter to half inch maybe so that when I fold the trailer, there won't be any issues. Later on, I decided it'd be good to have some railings on here, and that's what I did. The trailer actually comes with brackets already made in case you want to do a railing for the trailer, and I just tapped right into that. So I basically just used two by fours just to help you guide the boat in when you're getting it back onto the trailer on windy days. So again, all I did was cut some two by fours for here for the posts, just put the screws straight through, put nuts on the other side, just like this side is, and attach the railings, put some carpet on it, make it look nice so it doesn't scrape the boat also. And another thing I did was add flooring to the deck of the trailer. I didn't initially do that, but I saw where the boat started to scrape away the sealant that I put on there. And I said, you know what, let me just go ahead and put some, add some leftover carpet. Decided to make four strips. Didn't do anything fancy. I literally took maybe 10 minutes and did this. As you can see, I've got glue around the carpet and stuff, but I didn't really care about that cosmetically. This is more functional. And got four strips down. Put the glue down, carpet glue. This is just Home Depot carpet. All of this carpet is Home Depot. Um, it's not the highest grade stuff, but pretty affordable and gets the job done. Another quick uh, upgrade I made was on the license plate. When you get this boat trailer, this actual plate holder is plastic. 
and I highly recommend that you upgrade that to a metal one and that's what I did there. You don't want your plate to break off while you're driving and that's gone, big headache. And because this is a utility trailer, you can actually use it for different purposes. You can actually build a railing across all four sides and uh, there are actually pictures online of folks who've done that and they actually use the trailer for their boat. They use it for other things as well. So it's a pretty multi-purpose trailer. There's a couple of things I don't like about this trailer. One, the suspension is very stiff. And I know I'm just showing you this, you really can't tell anything under there, but this trailer is made to hold over a thousand pounds. So Pelican Bass rate is like 150, I forget how much it weighs. You can imagine just towing 100 or 200 pounds with stiff suspension, it bounces a lot. So another thing I have to mention is in order to fold this trailer, you have to remove four bolts. Lastly, a con for me is the price. This trailer is pretty pricey. I think it's around 650 online. Again, this is for an all aluminum trailer. I actually didn't mind. I thought it was a blessing in disguise for me because I know this trailer will last a lot longer than a metal trailer. They actually have a metal option now. I think it's, a, it's around the same price as a Harbor Freight. So if price is an issue for you, there is an option on the Northern Tool website to get a uh, metal trailer version of this one. So that's really what I don't like about the trailer. What I do like is one, it is foldable. Two, it's all aluminum. I love the fact that it's lightweight, very easy to tow, and it's extremely strong. This thing is very, very sturdy. I actually jackknifed this once, wasn't paying attention right in front of my house, and the trailer hit my car, and my car took all the damage, and the trailer was 100%. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Try to do something quick and easy. Answer a few questions in case you're looking to buy this boat, trying to figure out how you're gonna transport it. Again, I have a rooftop video that shows you how to get it on top of your car in no time with little effort. But if you wanna go with a trailer and that works best for you, hopefully this video addresses any questions. Leave questions, leave comments. Love to hear from you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget guys, hit that subscribe button. As always, we'll see you on the next video.